So I want to tell you something that I've been experimenting with, and it's the difference between looking and seeing may seem like just a semantic issue, but let me see if I can break it down for you. So very often I'll catch myself, like I'll walk into a new room, I'll walk into a room that I'm familiar with, like this one that I'm in right now, my office, and I'll just look at the wall, the window, the door, the floor. But I, in a sense, what my nervous system is just acknowledging that this is familiar. And I've noticed that um, I will tend to do that, that I'll tend, if I don't catch it, I really won't actually see what's in front of me, I'll just identify and categorize so that there's minimal amount of experience. So how I would experiment, how I experiment and offer this uh, experiment to you is to see almost how a dog or a baby would see. And by that I mean to see in terms of color shape, texture, space, lightness, and darkness. So that you're seeing what's actually there as opposed to letting your mind just categorize it so there's minimal experience. And why this is valuable is that the more connected you can be to your immediate environment, the less you're gonna be in your self-debilitating thoughts. And that's a good thing, particularly if you're acting or any kind of creating. You don't want to be in here. So we have to train ourselves to connect to our immediate environment. And we also have to recognize that the challenge in doing that is that there's a part of our nervous system that wants everything to be the same because it feels safer that way. And the more you engage with your immediate environment, the more unknown it is to your nervous system. So it will take some practice to fully engage with what's in front of you. It may seem very obvious, but there is a difference between looking, categorizing, and actually seeing and experiencing. And if you want to bring presence and creativity to what you're doing, I found this to be an amazing tool. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now. But I'm going to see my thumb turning off the button. Bam!